uh, to do Hello World, like, you know, to stop and take a moment and really understand everything that's going on, which we'll see in a minute, like, oh, let's look at all these different parts, you know, um, that's kind of what uh, that's about. So there's a link to the code used in this training, code used in this training, if you haven't seen that already. And uh, to create it in WebStorm, you know, I'm just kind of walking through how to do it. Right-click the Hello folder, wherever you want it, new go file. And then it's going to say, hey, your SDK is not set up, so you can just click that link right there. It might say that. And then you just put in the go root again, which would be user local go. And, uh, and so that's where it is, user local go. And, uh, and there it is, put in. And so then you have uh, code completion, which is cool. So as you're typing things there in WebStorm, it's telling you different possibilities. And, um, and then, you know, when I kind of get my entire Hello World thing uh, uh, run, I get this. And so I'll just give you a second to read that. So a couple of main takeaways from here is uh, you always have to have your Go folder, your Go file start with package something, right? And so this one's starting package main. And when it starts with package main, uh, it does not have to match the folder it's in. You see over here on the left, I have a couple of files, capitalize, lowercase, reverse, sentence case, question. When I open up any one of these four files here, on line one, what am I going to see? Package string util, right? Because these aren't main. It's just a utility, right, or whatever. It's uh, it's just they're all going to be part of the same package. And I could have put these all in one file, right, and just had functions all in one file. Or I could put them in, you know, even more files if there's multiple functions on each of those. It doesn't matter. They're all part of the same package because that first line says package string util. So just the different files there just helps me sort of organize it. And, uh, and so that's, that's package main. Package main, does it need to be in a folder called main? Like my file pack? No, it doesn't, right? It could be any kind of a, a folder. Um, FUMT is how you say FMT format, FUMT. That's how Caleb was saying it, so I guess that's the way you say it. And, uh, and then the difference between parameters and arguments. So parameter is a variable, which is part of the functions declaration. And we call them funks in Go. And the argument is expression used when calling the func. And so uh, this function is declared with no, choose one. No parameters, right? So if we go back to our definition, parameters are variable for the thing when we do the de declaration and the arguments what we're passing in. So hello world is an example of a literal argument. Okay, so just making sure that we're, you know, for me, just like, okay, let me just, and those are used interchangeably. What does literal mean? What's a literal in programming? What? Strings. A string, yeah. a number, just a literal value, right? Just some literal value. All right, so I, I, I was like, okay, well, let me make sure I'm clear on that. Literal in programming. All right, kind of cool. Um, so a little bit more information about looking at this Hello World program. I'll let you read the new info there. So at one point I was like, man, would print line be a function or would it be a method? And so methods are going to have something called receivers on them. And, 
and so those are called dysfunctions, and that, that's my, my understanding. And sometimes I'll have like a variable per, percent of certainty, so I, I give that like a 90% certainty. <laughs> I'm not sure it's absolutely correct, but that's my understanding at this point. You just call it a funk. And, uh, you know, and for it to be accessible outside of the package it was declared in, it needs to be capitalized. And so that's how you do public and private. Uh, it's capitalized or lowercase. And, um, you know, main's your entry point. And then just the difference between expressions and statements, you know, kind of came up for me when I was looking at that. So, like, on line six, what, would, what part of that would be an expression? Line six. Hello world, right? It's just a literal expression, and just that part. And and uh, and it, could you call all of line six a statement? Yes. Yeah. Right. And so you know, I was kind of like, uh, let me just see where. What the heck is that right there? What did I have? go format formats go programs? It uses tabs. Oh, and just this uh, thing here about tabs. I put this slide in afterwards. Um, so go uses tabs. Right, not spaces, and Go Format will do that for you automatically. So that's the way your code's written. But here's the difference between a statement and an expression. And I like the way that this was described. And this is actually a description in relation to Python, but you know I think it applies. It's global. Hmm? It's global for anything except yeah. Haskell. So I really like this concept that expressions are combined horizontally and statements are combined vertically. You know, so expressions are kind of like the horizontal things happening. Statements are the code that's executing vertically. And here's the go. Uh, here's Caleb's book, right? I like the way he said this. Packages, which are made up of files, which include functions. Each function has statements, and statements are made up of expressions, which are in turn made up of operands, operators, and function calls. So would the plus symbol be an operator or an operand? Operator. operator. Okay, cool. It's kind of cool, a little analogy. So uh, hello world is a what? We already saw this expression. And if I hold, oh, in WebStorm, if I hold down command on my Mac and click print line, uh, click that, it'll actually take me to the source code of the Go SDK, right? And oh, cool, I'm taking the source code. And I can read the comment there, which will be uh, the same as in the docs. Uh, and I can see how they implemented that, that function. Um, I could also do the same with format, right, or anything, right? Hold down command and click it, and I'm taken to where format is in the source code. It's like right there. This is what you're looking for. And I could also uh, use terminal here to run go files. And, uh, and to do that, I would type in, I would navigate to the directory where my file is, and then type in go run in the name of the file. And so go run is another implementation of a go command, and that's going to run hello world. Uh, it'll run that file, and it'll print out hello world. And so that would be running that first Hello World program. Um, and so we'll learn about, because we're out of time, we'll learn about Go Build and Go Install. Let me see how many slides we have left here. We're only about halfway through that. And how many people want to get out of here right when class ends because you got to go somewhere, be somewhere? How many people want to finish the presentation? One minute. How many people just don't care? <laughs> Well, let's see how far we go. Maybe you guys could wait one one more minute. Uh, we are at 17, and there are 43. No, we'll finish up on, what's today? We'll finish Thursday. So you've got enough here to sort of do your your install and get go up and running and make sure you got the version and run checksum and get an editor, whether it's Adam or WebStorm. I'm a big proponent of WebStorm. Daniel is a big proponent of Adam. Either one will be fine. You got two people who could support you in either. And uh, and then uh, we'll put together that discussion board on Blackboard. And are you in there? Uh, probably not. I could add you in. 
And so then you could get you could email Daniel through there or post to the discussion board. What about and, Slack? Um, I don't feel like setting up Slack. Okay. Let's just you know stick with Blackboard so it's all one place for everybody. Though the Giphy thing is totally a time waster and fun. <laughs> so, all right. Anybody have any last questions about this entire deal? How many people feel overwhelmed? Like, holy crap, what the hell? This class, speed of lightning. Well, a lot of it's review, and this is supposed to be the second level class, so that's why I'm banging through this stuff at the beginning fast. And if you're new to go, that's, that's why it's going so quick. But when we hit the other stuff, uh, maybe it'll slow down a little bit. We'll see. But an hour is not much time, an hour and 15 minutes. How many people think, oh, then this is great. Totally loved it. All right, cool, cool. So uh, we'll see you all Thursday.